Hi, my name is uh, Keith Troop. Uh, I've been asked to do this interview. I uh, farm just west of Pores of Hurry. Um, I have a purebred uh, Hereford uh, operation, run around 45 head of purebred cattle. And uh, I strongly believe in uh, shelter belts uh, to add wind protection uh, for the cattle and also uh, for uh, protection of our lane and uh, also uh, the shelter belts. Uh, were established in 1985 to provide uh, shelter for the kids when they were walking out to the school bus. Uh, shelter belts, uh, the main one that we have on this farm, is uh, runs around a half a mile long just on the north of our lane. And uh, we have a, we're on a 40 acre field uh, that we run the cattle out, um, I would say in around uh, October till uh, once we start calving the 1st of February, the cattle are out there grazing. And uh, this row of trees uh, certainly gives them lots of uh, shelter from uh, the strong north winds. Um, another thing that I found uh, throughout the years that certainly cuts down a lot of uh, uh, costs and labor is uh, bale grazing. <coughs> Pardon me. I uh, actually feed the cattle uh, once a week out there. We do have round bale uh, feeders that I fill up on the weekend, either Saturday or Sunday and uh, the cattle uh, will eat out of those feeders for a whole week. Um, I can't do this uh, in calving season. Uh, once we get into the 1st of February, which I start calving, then the cattle uh, come back into the smaller pans in the corrals. Um, once the calves are around two weeks of age, they get processed and ear tagged, and then they get kicked back out into uh, another shelter area and uh, that's where they'll, they'll remain out there till roughly around March or April and then they go back out into the fields. Uh, I feel this is certainly a lot more healthier uh, way to raise the cattle than being confined in corrals. Uh, they have lots of exercise out there and uh, move around uh, a lot better. I do have uh, water bowls that uh, they do have. I know some people have them just like in the snow but I do give them water uh, that they have to walk around eight eighth of a mile from the fields up into the yard uh, to drink out of the water bowl. And uh, you'll see them uh, coming up and uh, drinking out of the water bowls quite often. Um, if anybody has any questions or would ever like to uh, come out to see the farm or are interested in uh, what I do here, I would certainly invite any of you to come out and I'd be more than welcome to give you a bit of a tour. Thank you.